Uh, welcome you all again for uh, uh, this session. And now we will discuss on the uh, third problem on the compound part. These are the typical problems what we may get in the examination. Uh, so, statement of the problem is two straights AB and BB are intersected by a line and line. The angles AMM and MNB are 150 degree and 160 degree respectively. The radius of the first arc is 650 meter and that of second arc is 450 meter. Find the signage of tangent points and PCC given that the signage of point of intersection B is 4756 meter. You can really a problem of only 4 to 10 marks. Now if you could look at the problem statement, two straights A B and B B, it means B is common again in the problem. So B is your point of intersection. And these two lines are intersected by a line MN, it means MN is a common point. Okay. So if you can understand this and if you sketch out, then you will have two angles A M N and M and B are 150 degree and 160 degree. So we'll go to the slide. V is in common for the two states. So V is point of intersection and M N is a common tangent. And I'm taking uh, point B as a point of compound curvature here. I'm not mentioned this, but this is a point B. And given that radius of first curve is 650 meter and radius of second curve is 450 meter. Okay. So this is a typical sketch. And look at what he has given as angles. He has given you angle A and M and M and B. So these are not directly delta 1 and delta 2. Okay. We'll just go to the next slide here. Yeah, and just uh, added these two angles. Okay, the given angles are A M N and M N B, which are being shown in the sketch here. A M N is 150 degree and uh, M N B is uh, 160 degree. But your delta one and delta two happens to be V M N V M N and V N M. So your delta one is 180 degree minus 150 degree, that is 30 degree, and delta two is 180 degree minus 160 degree, that is 20 degree. Okay, so if these are your delta 1 and delta 2, then total deflection angle delta will be equals to 30 plus 20, that is 50 degree. Now, if you want to calculate signage of uh, points of uh, uh, point of commencement, point of tangency, and point of compound curvature, then and given is signage of uh, point V. Then what you should calculate is you should calculate this uh, capital T S here in the sketch that is distance A B. And if you want to calculate this distance A B, what you require is this small T S that is the distance A M and the distance N B that is small T N. So these two values are required to calculate T S, and then if we calculate the T S and later we need length of the arc first arc that is A B, and then we need length of the Second arc BB to get the respective change. So we go oh, one by one now. So uh, if you want to calculate the changes, it is required to calculate the small TS, the length of the first arc, the length of the second arc, and then the length of the whole first whole tangent. Oh, oh, and we know that now small TS is R1 into tan delta 1 by 2. R1 and R, R1 and delta 1 are given, so substitute the values. So TS happens to be 174.17 meter. And TL, small TL is R2, R2 into tan delta 2 by 2. So that is 450 into tan of 20 by 2. Then this happens to be 79.25. Therefore, the length MN in the sketch, that is equals to small TS plus TL. And if you add this, you will get MN, the length of the common tangent as 253.52 meters. Once you have this value, Next, we know that uh, your capital delta is delta 1 plus delta 2, so your total deflection angle happens to be 50 degree. Now, your capital TS is equals to, we know this formula, small TS plus TS plus TL into sine delta 2 by sine delta. So, substitute all the values we have it, then your capital TS happens to be 287.36 meter. So, once we get this length of the whole tangent, then uh, we should calculate the length of the first curve that is LS is pi R1 delta 1 by 180. Though S stands for small, but I'm just for, to avoid confusion, I'm picking uh, LS as the length of the first curve and LL as the length of the second curve. 
So unless the length of the first curve is pi r, well, pi r one delta one by one meter, that will be the respective values. So ls happens to be three forty point three eight meter. And similarly, length of the second curve, ll is pi r two delta two by one meter. Then substitute the respective values of r two and delta two. Then we get length of the curve as one fifty seven point one zero meter. Then start with the signage of point of intersection V, which is being given as four seven five six meter. And if you deduct this whole tangent line, first whole tangent line, please look at the sketch. If you deduct this first whole tangent line, that is two eighty seven point three six, then you will get a signage of a point of curve that is point A as four hundred four thousand four hundred and sixty eight point six four meter. So this, if you add length of the first curve, that is L S, that is three forty point three eight meter, then you will get signage of P C C, that happens to be four thousand eight hundred and nine point zero two meter. So this again, if you add length of the second curve, that is small L and capital this representation, that is one fifty seven point one zero meter, then you will get signage of point of tangency, that is point B in the sketch as four thousand nine hundred and sixty six point one two meter.